Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and I'm uh, doing review on The Strange, a uh, tabletop role-playing game by Bruce R. Cordell uh, from Monty Cook Games. And uh, this is going to be on the innovation aspects of this game. So one thing that's really fascinating about this game is it has these recursions that are connected to The Strange, right? So there's three worlds that you learn about in The Strange RPG. So you, you get a detail on The Strange itself. You get this recursion called Ardain, which is based on Sumerian uh, mythology. And you get Ruck, which is a weird science world, right? So, you know, so they brought forward, so Bruce R. Cordell, brilliant, brilliant tabletop role-playing game designer, has brought forward this game, and um, it, he's saying, um, so basically what he's saying is, uh, you know, here's this game, you're going to play with these, these different recursions, you're going to be able to build your own recursions, your own worlds, right? Um, and the ones I'm going to give you is one based on Sumerian mythology and one on weird science, and it's not even really steampunk, right? Which, uh, you know, so the question then begs, where is the fantasy-based role-playing, uh, where's the fantasy world? Where's the straight-up Dungeons and Dragons? Here's my fighter, here's my rogue, here's my cleric, um, you know, uh, and here's my wizard, the, you know, the classic four. And then also, where's the steampunk world? Where is the... Um, Where's the science fiction world? Uh, where's the superhero world, right? And one of the things that's really fascinating is when you're looking at Bruce R. Cordell and you're looking at Monty Cook Games, you're looking at innovation in its highest form in tabletop role-playing games. And so what these guys are doing is they're, they're joining with other, um, other guys who have really pushed the envelope within tabletop role-playing games. You're looking at the burning wheel, you know, so this, this game is grounded in, in, in other tabletop role-playing games like the burning wheel right? Um, uh, or um, Dogs in the Vineyard, or um, what are some of the other ones that are really out? The Dungeon World. Dungeon World is another one, which is based off of Apocalypse World, right? So these, these games are, you know, really push the envelope when it came to rules design, innovation, storytelling aspects within tabletop role-playing games. And one of the things that he's saying, by not giving you these standard worlds that you would expect to see, it's really just a, a massive branch off. It's a modern day tabletop role playing game. He's saying, I'm going to give you these super unique worlds that are uh, really nothing like them anywhere else in tabletop role playing games. They're really quite askew from the normal worlds you would expect. And the reason why is those worlds that you wanted to see, you know, Tolkien's world or um, any of these other worlds that are derivative. I don't need to put them in the core rule book, and the reason why is they're going to be created and they're going to be available online, right? And so this is the new um, this is the new tabletop role playing game uh, schema, which is what I'm saying is essentially what they're doing is they're saying this book, this physical book, is a talisman. We know that everybody who's playing so, so basically the tabletop role playing games have become self selective. Everyone playing tabletop role playing games in the way they're designed to be sat down with friends at a table and to play the tabletop role-playing game, they're saying, hey, you know, basically they have to read minimum 300 pages to, re to play this game. They have to, um, and then the Dungeons and Master guy is probably going to read two or three different books, so six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred pages of content. And so it's self-selecting to be a pretty intellectual crowd, right? And so they understand that in addition to the tabletop role-playing games that they're going to be using, they're going to be using content from the web. And so they're going to, so they're leaning on the web to supply content for the game, which is really risky. And that's one of the reasons why I love this strange role-playing game is this game is built on risk, and it's built for the highest end uh, tabletop role-playing games. So it's really, you know, quite a wonderful work of art, and I love the innovative spirit that uh, Bruce R. Cordell put in here. Because that's risky to say, you know, my main world's going to be based on Sumerian mythology. Again, you know, Sumerian mythology? What? You know, like, just not that many people into Sumerian mythology. Um, but I really, I like, you know, but he's making a statement. He's saying, I'm not giving you the normal stuff. Somebody else can give you. Fifteen other people can give you that world. But I'm, you know, I'm a super tabletop role-playing game genius, and I'm going to give you something different, and I'm going to inspire you. And it is quite inspiring. This game is really wonderful. And so I love the innovative, risky spirit that this game was built on.